Good morning. God bless your hearts real good. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Satan, it ain't, it's nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do. All right. All right. Let go right away. <laughs> I said, I said, I said that. You'll be surprised, man. They, you can't shut me up. You can't shut me up, man. They show sure try. I, I don't care who you get to turn against me. You can't shut me up. <laughs> Hallelujah! I built one time, and I'm getting to the list. A uh, a PAW Bishop Bonner's disciple. The late Bishop Bonner, he was preaching, he was talking real good until he denied the Son of God. Praise God. And I put and I went on the poll and put the right information on there and Bishop Bond, the disciple, came and asked me, say, you don't cross the line, you don't you don't cross the line now. So you don't cross two lines. He said, I won't know who your pastor is. I told him. My pastor ain't got nothing to do with this. Hallelujah. Absolutely nothing. I answer to nobody but Jesus. And if you a pastor, you answer to Jesus too. And that's if you give account to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. That boy said you it's nothing you can do. Go to all go go oh it's ha it's ha ooh, it's happening. Mills that I know, go go to them in secret and break up my name and say how awful you think I am. It's nothing you can do. Let's get let's go right away. That's enough of that. I didn't want to I want to throw it out there. It's nothing you can do. You can't stop it. It's been tried. You can't do it. It's nothing. You, it's been tried. Not just verbally. It's so on discord. Which is happening now. But it's been tried. Physically. No, did nobody put their hands on me. No, he did. But they tried to get me locked up in jail. They tried to get me sent to prison. It's been tried. God be my witness. I speak it true and lie. Truth and lie not. I was ready to go. I said, well, Lord, you said this is going to happen. Glory to God. But we still hear that nothing you can do. All right, you've been saved 20 years, 15 years. You're not a leader. Jesus make leaders. Jesus make leaders. Jesus makes pastors. You're not a you're not a pastor yet. Gee, they said no pastor that don't know the word. Not a one. I want to go to Hallelujah. Yeah, yes, I'm a, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm pastor, I'm bishop. 
Yes, I am. Yes. I'm teacher. Yes. I'm all that. In the body of Christ. Not no building. But in the body. When Jesus spoke about pastor, he said in the body. He didn't say no nomination. You run, you kiss his butt, begging people to make you a pastor and make you a bishop. And they had you bend over back with a tongue and flip and spinning all kind of money. Jesus said, See, Jesus made pastors. You don't know what a pastor is. A pastor, a building ain't got nothing to do with no pastor. If what's the pastor's job? The pastor's job, scripture say, feed the flock of God, which the Holy Ghost have made you overseer. That's the pastor's job to feed the flock of God. Why are you still a follower? Why are you still a follower? Let me get this. Jesus said the harvest, harvest is plenty of us. Are you a laborer in the harvest? The scriptures say, know them that labor among you. Especially they with labor in word and doctrine. That's how you labor in word and doctrine. Let's see. I know what I want. Pray ye that the Lord of the harvest send more laborers into the harvest. Pray ye that the Lord of the harvest send more laborers into the harvest. According to Food for the Hungry, and he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Give me Luke 10 and 2. Wait a minute, you a laborer? You a pastor? I'm not talking about your, you you, you call them out, I ain't talking about your organization. I ain't talking about no building. I'm talking the body. Your job is to the body. Even though without the other body that you preach to. How you going to witness? What is witnessing? Jesus said, you shall be witnesses unto me. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Your sons and daughters are going to prophesy. Sons and daughters. Not just sons, sons and daughters. In the old day of Pentecost, they did it too. All them folks said they were drunk. They weren't talking about the men were drunk. They were talking about the, they were talking about the women's too. They were drunk too. They were witnessing the wonderful works of God. Me and with praise God, glory to God. Uh, the prophetess Anna, I believe it is, with with when she was born, my God, she was she was of age. She was up in age. She prophesied. She talked to the people in the temple. This woman. Yes, she did. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, 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 Priscilla and Aquila. Priscilla, the woman, and her husband, they talked to Apollos. They, not, not the hub, just they. Look, look at those pastors. 
putting folks on the right track. They, they hazarded their lives, the Apostle Paul said. They hazarded their lives. They put their lives on the line. Hallelujah. Glory to God. By God, by God, by God. The woman that anointed Jesus and for his burial, that was a woman. That wasn't no man. It, it, it's, it's some of the men got upset. And Jesus told him, "Me, you didn't, do, you didn't do love for me when I came in here." But then the woman did. In the Luke, Christ, but why are you still following? You ain't growing? What's the matter with you? Luke 10 and 2. Watch this. Luke 10 and 2. Therefore, Jesus said unto them, The harvest is great, is truly great, and but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send for laborers into the harvest. Who are these laborers he sent? Go your way. Behold, I see you forth as lambs among wolves. The wolves are the fall prophets. Watch it. Carry thee to pray, no script, nor, 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 nor you salute no man, by the way. Uh, okay, give me the one in Matthew. I'm looking for a, for a certain thing. Matthew 9 to 8. Glory to God. Why aren't you a leader? Why you why you you've been saved 50 years and you say and you talk our leader. You supposed to be a leader. You ain't growing. Matthew 9, 38. So he said, <clears throat> The harm is truly plenty, but the labor of you. Pray devil, devil that the Lord of the harvest sent for the laborers into his heart. <clears throat> Now you know those laborers. Here it is. 36. 36. But when he saw the multitude, he would move with compassion on them. Watch this. Because they fainted. They were scattered abroad as a sheep having no shepherd. Then he said to Harvey Plenty. Why you're not a shepherd? Jesus is a shepherd. Why are you not a pastor? How are you not a pastor yet? You supposed to be a pastor. You supposed to be a leader. You supposed to be a bishop. You supposed to be an elder. Black, Jesus say, "Blind lead the blind folk fall in a ditch." Now, if you blind, if you ain't blind, you don't let no blind lead you, because you ain't blind. Law, you point to your leader. If you got enough, and Lord brought this to me this earlier this week, if you got have enough knowledge to point to your bishop and your leader, if you have enough knowledge to point to them. And you got confidence in them. You have enough knowledge. You have the knowledge to be a leader yourself.
you supposed to be a leader now. I think I'm on the sixth chapter of Hebrew. Glory to God. Hebrews 5 and 11. Of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers. You probably be a teacher. You probably be teaching people. You probably be instructing people. When you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. The first principles of the organs of God and are become as such as have need of milk. You, you need milk and not strong meat. You ought to be a teacher. And in contact, you're talking about the Jesus, the high priest, after the old Amir says that. And that get on until your ties it off. Oh, you, 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 yeah, you still babes. No, you're not babes. You, you need milk. You ain't drinking your milk. You ought to be teachers. You ought to be teachers. How come you're not? Why aren't you a teacher? Why aren't you? Look at the at the apostles. Look at those doing the work. Barnabas was not named with the original twelve. Silas was not named with the original twelve. Paul one day, Steve was one day, Philip one day, Aquila and Priscilla one day, John Mark was a day with the original apostles, but look at them leading. Why aren't you a leader? Why aren't you a pastor? The sheep scattered. They, they they ass sheep scattered. Jesus said, "Without a shepherd, they have no guide. They been talked to and fro with it everywhere in the dark." It even said, "Jesus even said, it saw me with faint. Give up. You a teacher." I'm not talking about, I am not talking about Pastor and Bishop and Leader in our churches. That's carnal. But I'm talking about the body of Christ to the people, not the building, not the organization, but the people. Why aren't you a leader? What you still doing following? You've been saved 20 years. You ought to be a teacher. You ought to be. So that's why you pour the obey your leader. Wait a minute. You should be one of the leaders. You ought to be a teacher. Why aren't you? You know that's the that that's to do this all up. Apostle probably valid pastor and teacher, all up teach the same thing. You ought to be teacher. Let me show you something in the 12th chapter of the book of Hallelujah, Glory to God, Corinthians. Let me show you this. Praise God. I want to show you something. Corinthians 12. Glory to God. Look, let's look at this setup here. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. You ought to be. <clears throat> Are you still following? You, you ain't got sitting up call a spade a spade. You ain't got sitting up though with bitch and go wrong. Blind lead the blind. If if you got a blind man lead you, <clears throat> and he fall in a ditch, if you not blind, you ain't gonna fall in a ditch, and you gonna tell him, don't you fall in a ditch? Watch it. Corinthians 12, 28. And God had said, wait, 27. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God has sent some in the church first apostles. I'm getting ready to show you some. Secondarily prophets. I'm getting ready to show you some. Thirdly teachers. After this, miracles, then gifts of healing, help, government, the person of the tongue, all apostles, all prophets, all teachers. What mission is that? What evangelism is that? It, this don't say about no pastor. Where the pastor at? Where the bishop at? It don't say it, but do you know where they at? The teachers. The teachers feed the flock of God which the Holy Ghost made you overseer. That's your duty. To feed the flock. Teach. You ought to be teacher. But you have one and one teach you all over again. How can you ain't teacher? You're not growing? You're not growing? When are you going to learn the lesson? My God. When are you going to learn the lesson? When are you going to learn the lesson? When are you going to teach the people? When you gonna lead? Jesus made leaders. I'm not talking about leaders lifting up in pride for you to worship them. I'm talking about yeah. <sighs> glory to God. The scripture say, "Be always ready to give an answer concerning the hope that is within you." You can you answer? Yeah, you, you if you a leader, you can answer right there on the spot. Now you don't need to go get bishop. You a leader, you can answer. Here's where it is. What about Jesus? Here's where it is. What about the Holy Ghost? Here's where it is. What about free from sin? What about my repentance? Here's where it is. What about the real erection? Here where it is, uh, you you supposed to be able to tell them right there on the spot. You leader, I know you can't get it called your corner man. Ain't nobody talking about no leader, no such a God in Christ, and Baptist, and apostolic faith, and, and meddling. That corner man, that man name. But in the body, you're to the body. Know them that labor among you. Especially they that labor in word and doctrine. Do you know who they are? <laughs> in most cases, the leader of y'all church ain't laboring in word and doctrine. They wishy washy. Sometimes they preach holiness. Sometimes they preach ain't nobody out here. Sometimes they preach holy. Then the next million turn around, they preach it. The next 50 people going to get a miracle.
What mile with you? Leader? Leader? How come you ain't lead? You been saved long enough. You, you, are you failing the lessons? You won't be able to lead. Thank you for viewing.